What's going on guys? So today we have a PS5 with a damaged uh, fan connector. It looks like the the customer, if I can get my face out of it, pulled the connector too hard. So what we're gonna do is get this under the microscope and take a look at it and see exactly what's going on and uh, how badly it's damaged. It looks like it is ripped from the, the traces are ripped from the board. You see right there, the one on this side and the one on this side is torn. So we're gonna take a look at that under the microscope. Now the pin, the pad on the right, this one, I'm touching it right now. Um, this one, you see it's torn from here and there's nothing that it's holding on to. And then this one as well, it's completely torn off. Uh, looks like it's exposing some parts right here as well. I'm gonna go over these traces and see if these traces are damaged, uh, which kind of looks like they are. But each of these, like this one is, looks like it's ground. Um, this is separate and this is separate. So let's get some flex under here and see what's going on we'll heat it up and try to repair it the pads are just right here so it doesn't look like it damaged anything so these connectors are okay they look okay to me all right i just switched irons right here we're gonna this has a bigger head so it's gonna heat it up a lot quicker and clean it up but these are all good so we'll clean this up with our soldering wick Make sure that there's nothing left over and we'll put fresh solder on it just a little bit of flux and then we'll go back and forth like so so one thing we can do is use some wire and first we can uh, grind the area around it that way the part can fit right here so this has to sit on here perfectly like that so it's got to sit on this side and on this side so I, I can do is I can grind away on the edges right here and create a trace and then uh, solder it down onto the board and the same thing goes for this side all right so I'm going to get my Dremel and just go around the edge right here. We can show the wire, the copper, around the edge of the board. <laughs> Better if you wet it while you're doing this. Now we'll just do the other side. Now that we got that cleaned up, we're gonna put some flux on this and then we are going to apply some fresh solder on it. Just go back and forth. All right, <clears throat> so I just got that on there just to get that connection. So what I'm gonna do is put some fresh solder again and then Touch each leg, make sure it's on there all the way. I'm putting a little extra so it can have a more secure connection. The durability of this is compromised. So if you plug in the fan and disable and, and uh, try to take it out, you'll just tear it again. What I'm doing is creating a form of like connection right here. So what I'm gonna do is connect this leg to here with uh, some some wire see this wire i'm gonna attach it to here so what i want to do is solder this down to here and then this part will go into the connector on the side where the solder pin is so we're going to connect we're going to solder that to right there And you may be thinking this is overkill, but you got to understand it's a lot of force that's being pulled. So I want to make sure that it's, it's seated really well. And it has a nice ball of solder there to keep it in place. All right. I think that's pretty good. So now what we'll do is 
go ahead and cut the remainder like that and then we'll get the other side lift it up and then cut this part man that one doesn't want to come off does it I'll play games, I'll play games. Let's go. Gotcha. All right. So that side's pretty secure. It's not going anywhere. Is it moving? Nope, not moving. I'm putting pressure on it. You can even see the... Nope. That's perfect. All right, so we got that done. We'll go ahead and uh, solder this down to here as well. All right, we got that side done too. And we can cut this off as well, get our razor. Get it right at the edge, and then just go back and forth, and get it right here, and then go back and forth. All right, that's pretty solid. That's strong. I think we did a great job with that. It's a little messy, but you know, it's still a good job in my opinion. Get some flux on my pins here, and we'll clean up the pins, make it look pretty. That's pretty solid to me. And I sh it shouldn't it shouldn't take that much force to take off the cable anyway. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay, and then pull it out. That's good. Plug it in. Pull it out. Perfect. Plug it in. Pull it out. I think that's great. Now we're just gonna test it and see if it works. All right guys, so I got the fan plugged in here if you wanna come over here and look at it. Um, so we, you don't have to put the fan in all the way and like plug everything in. Um, I got it plugged in right here just to test it and then plug in the power and HDMI and then we'll turn it on. And there you go, I did it. <laughs> that was a successful repair. Um, now the only thing that the customer brought it in for was to fix that fan connector not to fix the entire console itself. So we don't know if anything's wrong with the console. He just told me that the fan connector is damaged. So we did our part. If anything else is bad with it, um, we'll call the customer and let them know. But it looks like everything's working. There you go, it's just repairing the console now. So that was a successful repair. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe, comment, like, share with your friends. And uh, definitely let me know if you guys uh, have any other ways of uh, fixing damaged fan connectors on PS5s. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.